Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Hector Homesteader. Thanks for joining us. Well, today we're planting our apple trees. So uh, if that's what you're uh, interested in, this video is for you. So we placed our trees, found the best spot for it. Look at how the sun is moving so that we can see how it will affect any of our other plantings that we've already got. And um, now we're just getting ready to um, get them into the ground. Right, so we dug this hole and as you can see, we dug it out so that it's a nice even sort of looks like a dish and the reason for that is because it lays soil it helps with drainage and then mix up some compost with all of this um, clay soil and then um, yes we'll plant the tree on top of that that'll just give the tree a chance for its roots to uh, establish uh, we have a specific root stock um, which is compatible with clay soils or difficult soils they say Alright guys, so uh, looking for the biggest parts of the roots, strongest roots, and a friend told us apparently those need to point south. So um, have a look, it seems like that's the biggest chunk of roots compared to that. Um, there's our grafting there, you can see the paint on the top, so we need to make sure that that's above ground level, and never plant it deeper than what it was in the nursery into the soil when you plant it there. Um, so there's a couple of tips. So yeah, let's try this tip of these and see how these trees does. Um, so we'll just point those to the south and um, see if it works. Why not? Alright guys, now we'll just add some of the hay that we removed from the sheep pen now in the previous video and uh, use that as a mulch around the tree to keep the moisture in. Alright, so guys, you heard me mention rootstocks a couple of times, um, so I just thought I'll clarify that. A rootstock is pretty much the first bit of tree that they use, which is the root part of it, um, the bottom end, um, and then they graft the other tree on top of that. So it's a, it's a grafted tree, and they choose the rootstock specifically um, so that it would um, suit or help the tree in a specific type of environment. Um, in our case, clay soil, seeing that we've got um, clay, moderate to heavy clay soil, um, it definitely helps to have the right rootstock to ensure that the tree has the best um, opportunity to grow and also that root system um, can then be created within this um, clay soil environment. Um, another thing is check with your nursery, ask them for advice, give them a yell, ask them, hey, what rootstock have you got? This is the sort of soil that I have. Um, Maybe just do a quick soil test so that you have a, have a rough idea. Take a couple of photos of that um, soil test and um, if you send that off to your nursery they'll definitely be able to help you and tell you look this is the best what we recommend for your area and what will grow in that, in that soil conditions. Uh, so hopefully that gives you a couple of tips guys. Um, and hopefully this is not all too overwhelming, all the information in this video. Um, if there's anything else we can, we can help with, please drop a comment down below. Let us know what your experiences are and we look forward uh, to hearing those. So there you go guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers.